It's when an evaluator stands up and says, I've been in nuclear power plants for 23 years, and I've never seen a group work as well as you did in this exercise. It's the smiles and the high fives. It's empowering, and it lets the community realize that that's your local people doing that. That's your health department people right there. My name is Robert Goff, and I have served as Emergency Response Coordinator for the Southeast Region of the Tennessee Department of Health since 2004. Our team's focus began with smallpox and quickly spread to include anthrax and then to natural disasters. And over that time, we've built partner relationships because from a leadership standpoint, there has been strong encouragement that we communicate with each other to make sure that we are prepared for our part of the response, but also so we can know what resources we can provide to others. And that's helped us prepare for human-made disasters as well, like radiation emergencies. And now our public health agency is invited into the conversation right at the start of the planning process. I first interacted with CDC years ago at their exhibit table at a preparedness summit. I saw their box kit and said, what, they have radiation expertise, this is awesome. And at that table, they had two different box kits that contained several booklets some DVDs and some other key resources. And I remember having with me one of the videos from the kit. It was the lady who was showing you how to use the screening equipment. I took that DVD, stuck it in my computer, cut a clip from the video and put it into my presentation and thought, this is awesome because instead of me just standing in front of a room presenting it, it was a nice way to say there is an established way to do this. There are products developed by the CDC that I'm able to reference that speak our language. From that, I became more encouraged personally that we need to look at more than just our activities with the FEMA Radiological Emergency Preparedness Program. We needed to see what we've learned from FEMA and have that inform how we need to grow as a health department. I knew that we had to focus on training. We needed to focus on how the equipment works, and then knowing what we do, how we do it, in what way, in what order, everything. At one point, I was at a training where they had person after person after person go through the exercise, and immediately I realized, this is not what I'm used to. I can't even think right now, it was overwhelming. But it was at that moment I said, we've got to do this back home. I want our people to feel what I just felt. Over time, we were able to create an opportunity to do that for a community reception center. We met a director who said he was able to help. He found us a place saying, you've got full reign of it, it's yours. Let's set it up how you want. I'll rearrange anything, anywhere, anybody. That gave us a chance and the ability to say, okay, now I have to figure out the how and the who and the when of setting up a CRC. It also gave CDC an opportunity to collaborate with Robert and get better data for our planning models. One of the measurements we are interested in is throughput times, how long it takes someone to get through the stages of a CRC process. Events like this are a great way to measure and build models for predicting how a CRC should scale to accommodate the large number of people we'd expect in a radiation emergency. That event got a lot of interest and is something that has maintained our momentum. To build on those exercises, to challenge people to say, not only do we need to know how this thing works, but we need to make ourselves a little uncomfortable. It also helped us to see whether the resources we're developing are going to give us what we need in an emergency. Building on those experiences and relationships, in February, we conducted a tabletop exercise for a CRC. It was a great chance to continue to work together. I provided a tabletop scenario and event details. Our partners at NACHO helped to format and build the tabletop contents, and Lauren moderated the execution of that event. Working together, we helped to clarify the roles, operational considerations, and some of the public messaging needed for a larger community event. Then in April, we leveraged what we learned from the tabletop and previous smaller exercises and stood up a large-scale CRC exercise. We did it again, but bigger and better. And it helped us to improve our planning related to communication, safety, technology, and resource management. It was a great opportunity not just to get better ourselves, but to showcase some things that we hope can help other people who want to do what we're doing. CDC resources have had an impact along the way. Early on, the CDC kit became very helpful for us. I was able to pull some things out and use that information in such a way that it helped me speak to others in public health. And moving forward, we've used a lot of the online tools because there have been lots of times when we just needed a good resource. 
I specifically think back to when we were developing KI materials and looking at some of the information on CDC's website about why and when it's used. We know all those things, but to be able to have the information ready for us to look at and nicely arranged and categorized, it's kind of like the work's been done for us. And then later we started using the CRC drill toolkit. Never having done a CRC exercise, it was nice to know there was something out there for me to be able to sit down and look at. Not just assume that a CRC would be like pod or EOC exercises, and think through some things and have some planning guidance for something as specific as a CRC exercise. I really encourage any region, jurisdiction, county, or health department preparing for a CRC to realize that these exercises are not just as simple as opening up the guidance and going, I can do that. It's a learning curve just like everything else. Fortunately, we've had an opportunity to push ourselves and I hope we can take some of the things that we've learned and share with others so that they can learn along with us.